One must live. One must die. We should have taken my There's time. always another way. Where is near the waterfront downtown that's on the other side of the Mardi Gras massacre. There's no way. Jesus! Stay behind me, okay? Lady, you are crazy. Oh, well, you're being dealt with now. They're kind of like zombies. It's kind of freaking me out. Oh, wait, they touched her. I need to find that cloak you took from me. My costume? You moved to the weapons. Okay, you made the right decision. Let me see your hands. You need to get out of here as fast as you can. I need the help. You okay in here? I will be. As soon as I find the mercy bullets. Hey, be safe. Ish. Yeah, you too. What are mercy bullets? <laughs> <laughs> a young doctor named Jack Rogers found himself running a clinic out of St. Teresa's church, giving everything he could to stem the tide against the plague. But when his lover, famed jazz clarinetist Bobo Smith, was struck with the disease, Jack gave even more. Experts claimed his blood donation, this passive immunization, is what saved his lover. But that doesn't explain the two dozen other patients in that church who up and walked out healthy as oxen the day Jack died. It's gone. I just got it back. I, I just got control and now it's gone. So is Nina. I mean, she was the one who was supposed to figure out how to stop this thing. Now the whole city's running wild with Ivan's terrors. What happens now? What happens is you two are going to come at the problem and fix it. Somehow. <laughs> but in the process, one of you is going to die. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, can you repeat that last part? Every time the city's been struck with a catastrophe, it's always come down to two people. No, I'm sorry, I wish I could do more to help you. I really do. I know. I was in your head. Avita, you gotta get out of here. You know this whole city is tearing itself apart. I also know it's in good hands. Look, you've become... You are... Important. Oh, it's him. He's the one that has to die. But it'll be her. I can throw. I don't hate you two together. Andy. If the city doesn't destroy itself, you should lock that down. I, I don't know how good I'm gonna be now that my cloak is ripped to shreds. It's useless. I'm useless. Maybe the city picked the wrong saviors this time. No. If this is the guy that's gonna show up, Tyrone, we're both gonna die. Maybe that's who I am. Again? No. See, you don't need a cloak for all of that. She's gonna give him the hoodie thing, yeah? What if I do? Yeah. You can use this. Still what? From when were you? It was the first thing I ever stole. I 
didn't you say anything about this before? Because I needed it. I really needed it. And now? And now you need it. Oh, you were right. This is the quickest way. There it is, right up there. And we finally got a pet. Look. Oh, I know. Riley coming through. Um, yep. you fucking kidding me? You just couldn't leave it alone, could you? Oh, what fun would that be? You're a fucking psychopath. Uh, it just it stings a little. So, here we are. Yeah. Here we are. Looks like O'Reilly led me right to you. I'm guessing she doesn't travel as light as you. You have no idea, do you? <laughs> I'm not letting you hold my life hostage anymore. Not my friends or my family, you understand? Listen, you little... <clears throat> you afraid? One of us has to die in order for us to stop this. Yeah, but nobody says that has to be you. Fate does. That's why I'm so fast, so I can get there first. It could be anyone now. I tossed us together and mixed up our mojo, so if it's on you, it's on me too. And this swirling ball of scary down here is probably nothing compared to that thing when you and I touched. Hold my hand. We'll show these assholes a divine pairing. <laughs> So you guys just got juiced up. Authorities currently have no explanation for what happened, but the mayor and the governor have both given statements promising a full investigation into the matter. Like I said, there's always another way. I thought so. She moving home. Oh, and he's moving here. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of funny. Hey. What's this? Care package. Oh, the glamour is as I make it look. Oh no. 
But you don't deserve it. You're a good cop. I just assumed that that means you're a villain. No. Oi. All right. Well, that was uh, Marvel's Cloak and Dagger. <sighs> I finally finished it. Um. I, I enjoyed that. That was really good. Um, yeah, it was really good. I'm glad they found another way around it. It's been renewed for a second season, I believe. So maybe I'll do the second season if it comes out. When it comes out. I don't know. Let me know what you guys thought of this. Do you guys want to see the second season? Do you guys want to see a thoughts video? Do you have any questions? Did you enjoy this? Did you enjoy the show? Did you enjoy my reaction? I don't know. I need to talk about, I need to talk to people about it. <laughs> right. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I guess I will see you for a possible season two. I don't know. Thanks. Uh-oh.